Hey, what's up everyone? In today's video, I'm gonna go over Third Web's command line interface or CLI and kind of go over the features and functions that you can actually do with it. Now, Third Web CLI is gonna be very helpful when it comes to quickly building out your smart contracts or starting up your Web3 applications. We're gonna break this video down into two sections. First, we're gonna go over the CLI commands for creating contracts, how to deploy them, build them, and then we're gonna go over, secondly, how to go ahead and create your Web3 apps using Third Web's CLI. So let's go ahead, let's get started. I'm gonna jump on my computer here and we're gonna open up Terminal. All right, so right here on my computer, I'm going to open up my terminal here make this a little larger and everything so we can go ahead and see so right now i have my terminal open and the first thing we're going to go over is how to go ahead and create a contract using third web cli so what we're going to do is nvx we're going to do third web and then we're going to do create and after that we're going to do contract and this will help us go ahead and create a contract so when we go ahead and put that through we can select uh or name our project and we'll just do just call it third lab contracts here and then it's going to allow us to select a framework that we want to go ahead and use so we can select hard hat or forge i'm going to use hard hat for this example and then we can go ahead and name our smart contract i'm just going to name this tester now from there we can actually select what type of contract we want to create so third web allows us to go ahead and implement ERC 721, 20s, or 1155s, or if you just want to go ahead and develop your own smart contract completely from scratch, you can go ahead and select empty contract. Now for this example, we're going to choose ERC 721. And even within ERC 721, we have some extensions that we can choose from. So we can do signature mints, lazy mints, delayed reveals, drops, or if we don't want to include any extensions and we want to create you know our own functionality to our contract uh, based on the ERC 721 we can go ahead and select none for this one I'm just going to select a uh, drop which is like a regular NFT drop that will allow us to go ahead and create our NFTs and allow people to claim them for a cost if they choose to do so and once that happens it'll go ahead and install all our necessary packages all right, so if we wanted to, we could actually uh, change directory to our third web contracts here, and then we could open up in our code editor. So right here, I have this open up in BS code, and you can see we're in our third web contracts. And if I look under contracts here, you can see this is the tester file that we went ahead and created. So if I open up this again, and we go back up, tester is the name of the contract that we created here, and it made that for us, which was, uh, ERC 721 with the drop extension right over here. But let's just say we are done with our contracts here and we want to go ahead and build it out. We can go ahead and open up our terminal. Um, actually, I'll go ahead and let's go back to our terminal here. And I'm just going to put npx third web and we're going to put in build, which is going to build and compile our contract that we have. So it's going to detect right here uh, what framework we're using we're using hard hat it went ahead and, and found our and detected all of our contracts and extensions that we have so here i see 20 721 which brings us to our next command which is going to be npx third web deploy and what deploy will do is deploy our contract that we just made so hit deploy again it's going to detect everything that we had um uh, same as we did with the bill and but the thing that it will do this time, it will go ahead and deploy our contract and bring us to the third web dashboard, or we can go ahead and choose what chain we want to go ahead and deploy our contract to. And once it has been uploaded successfully, uh, you will get a link here, but your browser should go ahead and open up your third web dashboard here, and you'll see that you have your contract. So these again are all the extensions from the ERC 721 with the drop extension that is going to be included in our contract and from here we can go ahead and give our contract a name a token symbol who the royalties are going to what wallet address the royalties are going to be paid out to what the royalty percentage is going to be and the wallet address for the primary uh, sales deposits will go to and from there 
you can see down here, you can select what network or chain you want to go ahead and deploy this smart contract to. And you can also save if you want to add it to your dashboard. So then you can go ahead and do it like a regular smart contract that was deployed from your wallet address. So again, you can select from mainnet here, or you can deploy it on a testnet. Now the final third web seal I command we're going to go over for contracts is the release. Now what release is going to allow you to do is go ahead and add publish a version of your contract to third web so that others can view it in the explore page and you're allowing others to go ahead and actually deploy your contract and they can use it for themselves. So it's similar to if you are on your third web dashboard like we are now and you go to deploying a smart contract, you can see that we have some contracts that are not created by third web. We have like the lock contract, which is made by unlock protocol here. We have the rental NFTs, the ERC 4007s, and that is made by Double Dev right here. So in order to do that, all you're going to do is come back into your terminal here. We're going to do NPX third web, and we're going to do release. Now, similar to your deploying, it is going to go ahead and compile your contract. It's going to upload the contract data, and it will again bring us to a browser page where we're going to go ahead and fill in the information for our release. Okay. So you can see here, this is the page that it brings us to where we can go ahead and publish our contract. You can see here that it's going to make our contract shareable, discoverable, and deployable all with one click. So what we can do is we're going to fill out this information here. Now this information is going to correspond to what people see when they select your contract. So let's just select the lock contract here. So you can see here the name, this is going to be a little readme section here. Uh, you can add a image. Um, you can also go ahead and create your different versions as well. So if we come back here, you can see this is where we're going to add a name. So we can just say test contract. We can add an image if we wanted to. In the description, you can add a brief description of what your contract is. You can go ahead and then create a readme that describes how your contract works. If you made an uh, updated version to it, you can go ahead and describe what your updates are as well. So down here, you can choose your version. So if you are, you know, creating an update to your contract, you can go ahead and upload a version. And at the bottom here, you can go ahead and select what contract type you are choosing to add to your release. Once you hit next, it'll go ahead and you can change some things. So again, your contract is going to need certain parameters. So like your name, now you can actually choose what this is going to show up. So if we take a look at like the lock contract here, if we hit deploy, you can see that it requires certain things. Um, and you can see that inside our contract is called expiration duration. Uh, but we can go ahead and name it and title it membership duration. So we can be a little bit more specific and that way users know exactly what it is that they are filling out in these parameters. And once you're done there, you can go ahead and publish your contract and people will be able to search and view your contract. So that does it for the third web CLI commands or creating contracts. Again, we went over how to go ahead and create a contract. We went over how to build one, how to deploy, and then how to use your release to go ahead and make your contracts discoverable and shareable and deployable by others. Now, the next thing we're going to go over is the CLI commands on creating a Web3 application. All right, so I'm back in terminal again here. And the first thing we're going to do is go ahead and use third web CLI to go ahead and create on our app. So we're going to do third web create instead of contract this time we're going to use app again we're going to go ahead and name our project here i'm going to do test the web 3 app so you can go ahead and now select what blockchain your application is going to be running on we support evm blockchains and we also support solana as well for this example i'm going to select evm you can choose the framework you're going to use to build your application so you can see we have next.js create react app and byte I'm going to go ahead and choose Next.js, and you can go ahead and choose what language you're going to be developing your app in. We'll choose TypeScript. So now, third of them, we'll go ahead and install all of the proper packages and everything that we need. And once that is done, 
we can go ahead and look at our application and we can go ahead and also build and deploy our application as well. Yep. All right, so that is now done. You can see here we can use Yard Dev to go ahead and start a development server, or we can go ahead and use Yard Build to go ahead and build our application. So let's go ahead, let's open up our application. So we have our test with the map here. Let's go ahead and open it up in our code editor with the third web create app. We have a templated app here, and you can see here that there is some code and everything in here. We can go ahead and let's go ahead and yarn dev to go ahead and run this and take a look at what we get with the web and the template itself. So you can see here, this is the templated application that you go ahead and get with third web. Now, what we can also do is if we go back here, we can go ahead and type in yarn build to go ahead and build out our application and make it ready for production. Right. Once we go ahead and build it, we can actually go ahead and deploy it with Yarn Deploy. This will go ahead and deploy our site to an IPFS. And we can say we want to install the following packages. We could for yes. And you can see right now it is uploading to IPFS. And you can see once it is successfully uploaded into IPFS, you will be given your IPFS URI as well as a late to go ahead and view that upload in your IPFS. And there you go. Those were in the CLI commands that you can go ahead and use for quickly creating your Web3 application using Third Web. So again, we went over how to use the Third Web Create app to go ahead and get started with a templated version of your Web3 application. Third Web offers support for multiple blockchains that you can go ahead and select from, as well as multiple frameworks that you can choose. From there, once you go ahead and build out your app, you can go ahead and build and deploy that app as well, allowing you to go ahead and develop and build things much quicker for your Web3 application. Now, I hope you folks enjoyed this video and I hope you learned a little bit more about Third Web's CLI commands how they can help you go ahead and develop and build faster. If you folks did find value in this video, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Give this video a thumbs up and turn on that notification bell so that you know when we upload more amazing videos just like this. Now, if you are part of the amazing Discord community, you can go ahead and join Third Web's Discord. We are there to help and support you in any way. But again, I hope you folks enjoyed this video learn something new and until next time, see ya.